Yo, what's going on YouTube family? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with another video for you guys. And today is Friday and I'm out with a little recap from Lake Gunnersville. I was fishing with LA, um, Laura Ann Fauché. And um, we had a blast guys. We had an absolute blast. We, we were more focused on having fun and um, we never got to fish with each other before. So it was our first time. So we we're like, we're just gonna have some fun. Um, we pre How we started off, we pre-fished pre-fished the day before and we actually did pretty well we were when we pulled up to the spots we would just catch one maybe two at max fish um just kind of messing around seeing where the fish are at we weren't really wearing down the holes we weren't going out there casting hook one casting hook another casting hook another we weren't doing that um one one and done or um two kung fu get out um so yeah that's pretty much what we did. We caught them good in practice. Um, our biggest one was about five pounds. Um, caught them the kick in their bass chatter bait. And tournament day, we had just some small fish, um, not too big, average size, around two pounds. Um, just not the biggest fish. We couldn't get those big bites. And the wind was just crazy. The wind was beating down. And then our power poles, I haven't really said much about it. Um, I took a couple of pictures. Our power poles, they messed up, or one of them messed up. And so it was falling down. I mean, the wind was so hard. The waves were, like, almost coming over the boat. Um, the power poles were just falling down. One side was just falling down the water. So we had to get some, get a rope out. We had to pull to the side. We had to get a rope out. We had to tie the power poles up. It was just a big mess. And then the other one went out, so we had to do the same thing. It was just a disaster. And then, pre-fishing for another tournament, me and my buddy Weston were going down the road. And we had zip ties around the power poles um, at this point. And we're going down the road. My dad just looks in the mirror. One of the power poles is dragging. So it, the piece that goes into the ground actually went, it ground it down to a nub. I'll show a video overlay right now. It, I mean, it just grinded it all the way down, which kind of sucks because now we have to get that piece for the power pole. Um, but thank God you can just get the piece and you don't have to buy the whole new power pole. So I'm gonna stop talking about that. It's just a disaster with the power poles. The wind was crazy, um, and but we had some fun. It kind of died down um, as the day moved on, so we got to catch some fish. And we both caught two fish. Um, we only have four fish. We both caught two, so it's a fun time. I still have a little bit of footage. I might go through there and um, try to pick out some stuff, but the camera angles just weren't the best. So, But I'll, I'll fool around with it and maybe throw out a video for you guys. So let's get to the bait that we're using. Um, there's only one bait, one bait that we caught the fish on. And um, I know you guys are probably like, God, I'm sick of hearing this bait. And every one I'm mentioning it because that's pretty much all we're catching the fish on. It's the kick in their bass wobblehead. Um, guys, I can't I can't tell you guys how much this bait catches fish. I mean, it's such a productive bait. The past three or four tournaments, every tournament, been catching them on this and the fish head spin. And the only reason we didn't use the fish head spin was because we're fishing in nine foot max water. I mean, we're at Lake Gunnersville, shallow water fishing. Um, but the wobblehead guys, this thing was killer. Um, this is in half ounce in green pumpkin, and it has um, the rage crawl on the back. It has the it's the green pumpkin with the chartreuse stripe down the back. I'm um, really great bait. That's what we call our fish on. I caught some in practice. Um, I should have some footage. I'll throw up on the screen. Um, caught a lot of fish on that during practice and on the tournament. All the fish that we caught were on this bait. It's a really productive bait. And you guys have been asking um, when are you going to come out with a video on how to fish it. Probably sometime this summer when I have a lot of time. It's just schools um, with finals and everything right now, so I'm trying to get everything just out of the way. Um, so I'm clear to make some videos. Once summer comes, man, I'm gonna go knock out some videos. I'm gonna go on Lanier, my home lake. Um, it's five minutes away from my house. I'm gonna knock out some videos. Um, how to fish this, how to fish that, how to cast that, reviews, stuff like that. Um, but yeah. The reel that I had it on was a Revo MGX, and like I said, this is my favorite combo, and it's on a Legend Extreme St. Croix rod. Um, this combo just feels so good. It's so lightweight, and the rod's very balanced, and when you put the reel back here, the reel is super lightweight as well, so it's really, really balanced, and I do have reviews on um, the MGX. I'm sure I'll be coming out with a review over the Legend Extreme because I love it so much. I have so many of them. And if that's a little bit out of your price range, you can always go with the Legend Tournament, which is really good as well. But what I really like about the Legend Extreme is the handle. Um, the handle just really fits good in your hand. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of cork, so I really like this handle. 
And um, the pound line I had it on is added on 15 pound um, Berkeley. It's the gold label, gold label line. So this is the combo I used. Um, love this combo. Always have it on the boat. And um, that's pretty much the recap of the tournament. Um, if you guys haven't seen the vlogs, I'll throw some links at the end of the video. You can watch that. There's a part one and there's a part two. And I know you guys are enjoying the vlogs. I'm going to keep on knocking them out, trying to get one out to you guys um, every week, if not every other week. Even if I'm not going out on the lake, I know you guys just like to see day in the life stuff. And um, Tackle Tuesdays, starting up this week. Starting up this Tuesday, I'll have the first Tackle Tuesday video. So stay tuned for that. And also, Sunday, question and answer video. I'll be answering all you guys' questions that you left on my Instagram from the post. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick episode of the recap on Lake Gunnersville with LA. And I'll see you guys next time. We're kind of a big deal.